Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a question for you. Where does the habit of brushing our teeth come from? Did you know that it also has a history? Today I thought of coming up with this interesting historical story behind the habit of brushing our teeth. When you trace the history of brushing teeth, you will see that it dates back to 3000 BC. Can you imagine how ancient this habit is? Accordingly, Babylonians and Egyptians used a small tree twig to brush their teeth. Before using it, they had either chewed or crushed the edge of this twig. And that was their brush, just like we have modern toothbrushes today. And also, evidence of such toothpicks or tree twig brushes have been found near the corpse in ancient storm in Egypt. Further around 1650 BC, Chinese people produced fragrant tree twigs for tree, and they used them for maintaining healthy teeth. The world's first toothbrush thus came to people's hands made with natural bristles and manufactured by the Chinese. This happened in the 15th century. You will be surprised to hear what they used to make this. So they used the coarse hair of Siberian hawk to make the bristles. Whereas the handle was made of bamboo sticks. Over the time, these Chinese toothbrushes passed the border and reached Europe. Following the fellow Chinese people, Europeans also started to make the toothbrushes. But instead of hog hairs, Europeans used either horse hair or feathers to make brushes bristles. Okay, let's slowly turn to the birth of modern toothbrush. Accordingly, the owner of making the first toothbrush that resembles a modern structure goes to William Addis. He's British. Its handle was made from a bone of a bull while its bristles were made of swan feathers. As the next steps of this progress, in 1844, the first toothbrush with three rows of bristles was made. Until the introductions of nylon, they used natural bristles to make toothbrushes. It was in 1938 that they started to manufacture toothbrushes with artificial bristles using nylon. And making another giant step in progress, the first electric toothbrush came to people in 1954. When we talk about brushing our teeth, we cannot discard the importance of toothpaste. According to historical records, 7000 years ago, ancient Egyptians used a cream to keep their mouth fresh and clean. And there were no traces of them using toothbrushes during this period. Further, ancient Greek people and Romans also used toothpaste. They started to use toothpaste to keep their mouth fresh and clean. The purpose behind using toothpaste in ancient times are similar to purpose we use today. For what do we actually use toothpaste? We use them to keep our teeth and gums clean and fresh. And the ingredients used by ancient people to make toothpaste are completely different from what we use today. In ancient times, they burned hooves of cattle until they turned ashes. Then they combined it with burnt eggshells and bentonite clay. That was how people in the past made toothpaste. Moreover, Greeks and Romans added the bones of animals and shells of oysters. In addition, they added various medicinal and chemical stuff to keep the mouth fragrant and fresh. Among them, the essence of ginseng, salt and mint are prominent. It was in 1800 they began manufacturing toothpaste similar to the modern toothpaste types. To that end, they first did experiments with soap and they added calcium carbonate in 1850 as an ingredient. Around 1816, British people started to use this product regularly. Even though toothpaste came to people as a powder before 1850, scientists assured that it would be better to use something similar to a cream. That is how toothpaste came to the market as a cream. 
and until 1945 soap was there in toothpaste as an ingredient but after instead of soap sodium lauryl sulfate was used to smoothen the toothpaste cream so guys now you know historical story behind the habit of brushing our teeth see you again guys bye bye